so it looks like it can be attached to this so this can be hello everyone welcome back to proto science so today we are going to discuss the next question of our series which you are discussing of the chemistry optional 2024 so over here we are given with a question in which it is being given that we are giving in some nmr spectral data of the compound c10h12o2 the compound we are given with is c10h12o2 this is a compound molecular formula is being given with us and these are some nmr signal over here and this so both of these compound exhibit a peculiar peak in ir so we are also given with the some ir peak that is coming at the 730 cm inverse the ir peak is 730 cm inverse so these are the information which we are given with and one more thing which is being given over here we have that these two are isomeric compound these two are the one and two these are the isomeric compound and we have to deduce the structure of these compounds so for going to that so the first thing which we need to do for such type of question we have to find out the dbe value we have to find out the dbe value double bond equivalent so for that we are having the formula is equal to uh, carbon 10 and we know c plus 1 the formula is c plus 1 so that is going to tan okay that is going to be tan plus 1 minus h by 2 the number of hydrogen by 2 that is 12 by 2 and no halogen and no nitrogen is present so that's why it will be coming at 11 minus 6 and that is going to be 5 so we are having double bond equivalent equal to 5 which means either some conjugated molecule like double bond triple bond or some cycle so at least they are the five things are there so it clearly signifies that there is an possibility of a aromatic compound or you can say benzene type compound some benzene ring possibility is there because that much uh, db is being found when we are having a benzene ring or some aromatic compound so if you visualize over here this is being uh, find out with the help of double bond equivalent or you can say with the help of this molecular formula the next thing if you visualize this i uh, this ir spectra this is nearly 730 so it signifies that it is a uh, carbonyl compound is present some carbonyl compound so more or less it is uh, looking like ester peak so somehow if some conjugation is there some other uh, condition happens so that can be for you can say ester alkyl uh, L, uh, sorry aldehyde and ketone can also show sometime such type of peak so we can say this is carbonyl or ester so mostly it is looking like some ester peak because this is the range of ester nearly 722 740 yeah. so now if we uh, break down the carbon number 1 the first compound so if we see over here it is having a Three hydrogen, three hydrogen singlet, which means if we break down these moieties into different different parts, so we are going to get a. Uh, it can be like this: C S three. This can give a singlet. Another moiety is two hydrogen triplet. Two hydrogen triplet. That means two hydrogen triplet and. two hydrogen triplet so these two compound they are joining together this is giving this a triplet and these two hydrogen might be giving this a triplet this is just assumptions we are going to do over here so another possibility is this a triplet at this and triplet at this so these are like two moiety and another is 7.3 at 7.3 we are having singlet of five hydrogen so it can be a moiety like this 
these are the five hydrogen so it is mono substituted more or less it looks like a mono substituted benzene ring so all hydrogen they are having the same peak nearly in the 7.3 region so that signify it is a benzene ring is present so these are the group so now if you see over here this is c5 h5 and this is c2 h4 and this is ch3 so if we combine or you can say add up all these values if we add up all these value we will get 5 to 6 or 17 c7 sorry 5 or 6 to 8 or 19 6 carbon over here or 2 carbon over here or 1 carbon over here 6 to 8 or 19 so we are having 9 C six H five six two eight over nine C nine H five four nine and three twelve so H is going to be twelve over here C nine H twelve so what is being left from here the original formula was C ten H twelve O two so C ten H twelve O two minus this we are going to get a value that will be equal to around C Ten minus one, nine one carbon. Twelve minus twelve zero, and O two. So we are having a carbon dioxide molecule or CO two moiety. So if we arrange, if we try to arrange these molecules, so uh, it would be better if we try over here only because all the values are written over here only. So it would be better if we try it over here. so yeah so this is like this is our benzene ring over here and this group cs2 cs2 and if you see the peak cs3 that is having a uh, uh, you can say two uh, uh, coming at a, uh, at two and these are like coming at 4.3 so two hydrogen triplet is at 2.3 which means that it is some attached to some you can say some electronegative atom such as oxygen so it can be over here so it look like it can be attached to this so this can be cs2 cs2o like this so this can be like this cs2 cs2o so this and this uh, another this one as this hydrogen will be like c double bond o c s3 if you assume this structure if we assume this structure it is not the final answer just you visualize over here this cs3 2.3 due to this carbonyl it is possible that and this uh, 4.3 region can come for this due to the attachment to the electronegative atom and this 2.93 due to this aromatic ring character 2.3 so it is more or less we can say it is uh, toward the right answer so if we see the other possibility for this another molecule uh, we will try it and then we will compare also all these two yeah for this if you see these are the three hydrogen again three hydrogen triplet two hydrogen singlet two hydrogen quartet And five hydrogen secret. So all these uh, parts are like same. So if we draw three hydrogen triplet, so C S okay. So this is going to be C S three and two hydrogen singlet. So it is going to be C S two is going to be separate. CS2 is going to be separate and 3.72, which means uh, more or less it is being attached to some electronegative atom, and 4.13 uh, at two hydrogen quartet. So it is two hydrogen quartet. So that is possible only when this hydrogen quartet. So one moiety is this one. It is showing quartet because it is being attached to this three hydrogen, and it is showing. triplet because it is attached to cs2 
So one possibility is that I have shown you over here. This is CS3 single bond CS2. So one part is going to be this one. Another part is singlet of this uh, CS2. I have shown you plus this. And uh, another part is our CS3, CS2, CS2, 1, 2, 3. And 5 hydrogen again the same. And this one. So this if you see the same multi CS2, CS2. Sorry. CS3, CS2. It's because CS3 and CS2, yeah. Over here, CS3, CS2, CS2. So, in the previous case also, we were having CS3, CS2, CS2 and CCS5. So, the thing which was remaining was carbon dioxide. So, one more body was carbon dioxide. So, if we attach all these things, if we try to attach all these things, so what will be the possibility over here? If I draw it, this is benzene ring, it is going to be same. And after that, this uh, which is the most uh, electronegative part over here, if you see, uh, this is going to be CS2 is singlet. And uh, so this is being attached to the O. This is going to be attached at the oxygen. So this is going to be attached at the oxygen and they are going to be come at the last. Which means CS3, CS2. They are going to be like, uh, come like this, CS3, CS2, the last part. And after that, this is being attached, this uh, two hydrogen. CS2 that the which is having the quadrant that is directly attached to oxygen C double bond O CS2 like this. So it looks like a possibility of this and if we try to number them 1.23 3.72 no 3.72 singlet uh, yeah 3.72 and uh, 4.13 so this is the way uh, and this easter this is going uh, going to sh uh, show us the peak of this uh, 1732 centimeter inverse so these are most probable answer these are the most probable answer so i will draw it over here the final answer cs2 C double bond O O C S two C S three So it is going to be CS2, CS2, O, CO, CS3 and CS2, CO, O, CS3. So these are the compound 1 and 2. So if you uh, see over here again, uh, finally, so these all hydrogen, they are going to giving us the peak at 7.3 hydrogen, both 7.3 and 7.3. So this CS2 over here, which is uh, uh, hydrogen is showing a singlet. 3.72 singlet. COOO negative and this CS2 is showing the quartet due to this. From here 4.13. And this CS3 will be showing a triplet. At 1.23. So this is going to be the most probable answer for this question. This is going to be the most probable answer for this question and regarding this if we visualize this one so for cs2 again it is the triplet and this is also triplet so one is uh, showing 4.3 so this is going to be 4.3 and this is going to be 2.9 both are triplet due to this electronegative atom attachment and this is a singlet this one at 2.0. So these are like these two compound. I have shown you the structure. This is the structure 1 and this is going to be the sorry 2.03 out in single 2.03. So this is going to be the second one. Sorry, yeah. This is second one. This is first 
and this one is second because over here CH3 is having CH3 is having a triplet. CH3 is having a triplet. So this is the second one and this one is the first one. This one is the first one. If you try to visualize some other possibilities, so they are going to be like uh, you can assume that uh, if they are having some no. So uh, I will just try to draw over here. If we try to draw some other possibilities. like this. So if you draw it over here, so then what will be the case in this case? So this can be how, but this will be a triplet, this will be again triplet and this will be a tuplet of triplet, which means at least pentet or you can say multiplet, doublet or triplet, uh, doublet, triplet of quartet. So this is a uh, not shown in this any of this one and two. So this is not possible due to this multiplet which is being coming over here. So another possibility. So again the same thing is going to come over here also and one more thing we cannot justify this P 4.13 and 4.3 which means the higher they, it shows that or some carbon atom is being directly attached to the electronegative atom. So these are the some points which are the possibilities you, you would have tried that why these are not possible I have shown you that also and the correct answer are number 1 for this one and number 2 are this one. So these are not uh, we cannot say they are the 100% true answer because there are some other techniques on the basis of these. Uh, you can say spectral uh, information, these are the most probable answer. So, because these structure are being confirmed with some other 2D NMR spectra, 3D NMR spectra and various other techniques for practical reason. But for theoretical, these two are the uh, most probable correct answer. Hope this answers your question. Thank you.